Then we have swapping. See, I'll show you the diagram first. This is swapping. Simple swapping is, this is your main memory. Some place is taken by operating system and other place is used by the user, user space. This is your space. Now swapping in swapping out is simply, you take out some process which are idle. That is not, that can be taken out. Low priority process. And this process, high priority process you want this to be executed. So it is brought into the uh, main memory. So taking out, taking in, this is the swapping in, swapping out. So swapping, uh, this is nothing but a process can be swapped temporarily out of memory to the backing store and then it can be brought back into the memory for continued execution. This is simply the simply the roll in and roll out and the higher priority process, uh, when, when uh, it comes, the lower priority process is swapped out. It is taken out and the place for higher proper priority process is being made. And uh, it involves a certain transfer time because you are actually transferring. When you are transferring, you are not doing any good work. So swapping requires a backing store, the place where you can put like the hard disk or the tape drives, etc. And uh, the system actually has a uh, ready queue where all the process uh, are there which are ready to be run. So CPU scheduler now calls the dispatcher, you know, before running a process. Now dispatcher, dispatcher does what? It will check if the next process in queue is in memory. If it is not, there is no uh, free uh, memory region. The dispatcher will eventually swap out a current uh, process which is uh, simply idle and swap the desired one. Then after that, it has to do some housekeeping. That is, it will reload the register and transfer control to the process. And the context time is also there because we are swapping. So we just do or swap, swap those which are completely idle and this is what is being done. 